what is up guys fell safe here in the flesh and blood today we're going to be doing some a uh, little bit of camouflage to this drop leg holster it's a little too dark earth coyote brownish for me um, will not blend in with any of my gear so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing today camouflage for that all right so basically we're going to do uh, the sponge technique on this like I did on the rifle although I didn't record the rifle basically all you need is like a paper plate and some of these sponges you can pick them up at like uh, Walmart, Kmart I don't know if I doubt Costco or something like that would carry it so you're looking for like a small but large and, and it's really weird to say like a large uh, franchise but still small you know like a almost like just a small general store of such that would carry these were found in the uh, the bath aisle for like soap and uh, shampoo and conditioner and that's Garfield the big kitty cat no he does not eat lasagna and uh, basically I'm using camouflage it's uh, I don't know it's it's a green color dark green um, so we're looking looking at that that one we got uh, it's not a camouflage it's called satin oregano it's about that color which is kind of like an olive a bright olive color and we're also using this green color which is uh, a little bit darker it's a little bit more I don't know quick Garfield a little more um, pickle color I guess you'd say Say. Garfield, quit. Okay, so the idea is we're going to spray some of this into the, into the paper plate. And Garfield's not going to the camera because Garfield's clumsy. We're going to start off with a uh, darker color and then work our way to the light. into the uh, paper plate get your sponge good and wet like so and then just dab it on yes I know the velcro is still here I know the, the line's still on it uh, but we're not really worried about that because it needs camouflage also and these are called sea foam sponges like I said you can find them in the, the bath area I guess or, or, uh, Not really the bathing area, it's called something else. Not like bath and body work, but uh, I can't really, I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, I got these at Walmart. It was like four or five bucks. Something in that general area. Basically the only thing we're doing with them is you can see that it's making a print. Not every print's gonna be the same. on where the sponge lands and what hits and what touches. You don't have to touch the whole thing, you can do this a little bit. Like I said, uh, do these straps too because these straps are going to be on me. I'm going to be wearing them. So I have to be uh, part of the combination of camouflage. A little bit of tan color. Now, I'm not really going for a full Atax foliage green color type of uh, camo here. I mean, it, it does help, but you can already, you can honestly see that the base color is like a, like a dark earth already. So that's, that's going to be out of the question. It's going to be really hard to uh, overlay that. Ah, here we go. Like you 
same freaking green color, eh? because they won't exactly alternate perfectly and you'll be able to tell a difference a little bit once I get done. Now being with this little bit of cloth and a little bit of plastic, the plastic will probably dry a little faster than the cloth will. So we got the majority of the green down. There's still some brown areas, which I'm totally fine with. Got green, green fingers now in the Hulk. Uh, we're gonna come in with this lighter color, oregano. Just kind of tap it here and there. starting to get a uh, camouflage pattern at least it blends in a little better that's what I'm going for to blend. get back to that cracking any q-tip cotton swab okay so I could have taken this all apart but that wouldn't have broke down quite as good if I'd done something like that I'm not gonna paint the inside of the leg. It just seems pointless to me at this point. Uh, my pistol's black. I don't have any plans on painting it. Um, but as you can see, it's it's got a bit of a uh, a green camouflage palette. I don't discourage um, using the same sponge for um, painting because sometimes you can uh, have like layers of paint that's built up and when you drop one layer it sometimes pulls another or it can even change the color just a little bit and sometimes that's a big big thing or you can have multiple layers that way when you put one down you get two or three layers because of the different colors that you have uh, this looks almost like an old school uh, BDU color battle dress uniform from the United States Army military. Uh, I think the Marine Corps and the Navy called it something different, but uh, the Army called it BDU battle dress uniform. Uh, so you got some browns in there, kinda. Uh, you got your light greens, you got your dark greens. But I'm not gonna go for like a, a brownish color. I'm going for like a green color. Kind of what we already have going. On, so. I'm just about done, to be honest with you. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to get too ugly and too heavy. As you can see, the, the multicolor in the sponge is kind of kind of showing showing exactly what it can do. Uh, you got your dark and your light, so that's a cool thing. I still got some brown in there, but not too much. So I'm, I'm pretty excited and happy about this, the way it already turned out. What was that, like a five minute job, if that, three colors, with a dark earth uh, drop leg. And this is uh, the hard plastic stuff with a, with a trigger lock, I recommend that. The, uh, the, if you're cheap, uh, if you need to spend cheaply and you're on a budget and you need a cloth to drop leg, um, the cloth drop legs are okay, but I don't highly recommend those at all because you, your your weapon your pistol can uh, flop in and out uh, flimsily I have I have two and they both kind of flop in and out so when you go to reach for it it's either strapped in with a velcro strap or a button strap or something along those lines and it makes it really difficult to pull and holster your pistol 
So I would definitely recommend getting a hard shell. Do a little bit of research, find out what kind of gun uh, you have. I have an APS, a Katsu, um, ACP, Action Combat Pistol. Uh, Evike is where I bought mine, but they no longer carry that particular pistol. Don't know why, they just kind of dropped it all together. Uh, but I can still order parts for my pistol. I can still order the pistol itself off of the APS-concept.com website. They have pistols, they have magazines, they have parts for it. So, I mean, it's still in production. Uh, it's just not on Evike anymore. Not sure why. Actually, I don't know if any other website, Airsoft website, is carrying it. So, it's kind of a downside for me. However... If I need replacement parts, they do have them, and they're fairly cheap. The mailing's not too bad when they go to mail internationally. Uh, it usually takes about a week to two weeks to get the parts that I need. And basically, I mean, it's it's a good pistol. It's a, I think it's a Glock 21 replica, so, or 22. And this fits the Glock, I think, 21 or 22. Uh, I bought this off e-bike. Matrix. I mean, I guess they're the only, I don't know if they're the only one that carries Matrix, but they were the only one I went to when I went to look for it because they, I think it was also on sale. It was like $25 or $35 or something like that. Uh, so I was like, yeah, got to get that because the other ones are like $50, $60, $70. I was like, no, don't want to don't buy that too much. And this does everything the other one does. It has a trigger lock. It's uh, You can run an Allen key through the hole here to adjust the tilt of your pistol when you go to draw it. Um, it has two leg locks. These attached to your leg. You can wrap all the way around your legs. And they're adjustable. And they got Velcro. Um, it also has another piece that attaches to this, which attaches to my uh, my uh, sniper uh, loadout that I have. Which, when it warms up, I'll be able to um, we'll do a review on my sniper loadout. It's just too cold right now. Um, let's see, what else? Actually, it's getting warmer, so it may be coming sooner than later. But anyway, um, this is how I painted the the uh, striker, a MOBA striker from Ares. Uh, it was quick, fast, and you basically just kind of—I don't, you don't know if you really have to I have an eye, but having a reference like the ATAX, I have an ATAX ball cap and a, and a, and a uh, boonie cap, and they both work as good references because they have different different ways the colors lay in and I mean this is kind of the way it lays in all right guys so that's all I have for this video um, if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this please hit that subscribe button it helps me helps you and uh, yeah I'm wearing an orange it's my work one of my work uh, sweatshirts anyway um let's see what else that's about it guys so I mean like I said if you, if you like this yeah do all the follow previously aforementioned things that I said. Also, don't don't forget to uh, check out my Shape Boys page. It's for uh, the knives that I made. I got two knives now. I had to resize the karambit cleaver a little bit. It was a little too big, so I shrunk it down a little bit. Um, it was like way bigger than my hand. So, <laughs> it was pretty cheap still. I mean, it was like uh, $25, I think, $26, something like that. It's just to have an original style of knife. Um, yes, you can buy other knives cheaper, um, but I've, I just couldn't find anything I like, so I just made my own. Uh, if you want to check those out, I'll put a link down in the description for you. Um, that's about it, guys. So, till next time, take care. On Garfield says bye. Bye, Garfield.